since I left you, mine eye is in my mind, and that which governs me to go about doth part his function and is partly blind, seems seeing, but effectually is out, for it no form delivers to the heart of bird or flower, or shape what it doth latch. Of his quick objects hath the mind no part, nor his own vision holds what it doth catch. For if it see the rudest or gentlest sight, the most sweet favor or deformest creature, the mountain or the sea, the day or night, the crow or dove, it shapes them to your feature, incapable of more, replete with you. My most true mind thus makes mine eye untrue. Or whether doth my mind, being crowned with you, drink up the monarch's plague, this flattery? Or whether shall I say, mine eye saith true, and that your love taught it this alchemy, to make monsters and things indigest, such cherubims as your sweet self resemble, creating every bad a perfect best, as fast as objects to his beams assemble. <laughs> oh, tis the first, tis flattery in my seeing, and my great mind most kingly drinks it up, Mine eye well knows what with his gust is greeing, and to his palate doth prepare the cup. If it be poisoned, tis the lesser sin that mine eye loves it, and doth first begin. Those lines that I before have writ do lie, even those that said I could not love you dearer. Yet then my judgment knew no reason why my most full flame should afterwards burn clearer. But reckoning time, whose millioned accidents creep in twixt vows, and change decrees of kings, tan sacred beauty, blunt the sharpest intents, divert strong minds to the course of altering things. Alas, why, fearing of time's tyranny, might I not then say, now I love you best, when I was certain or uncertainty? crowning the present, doubting of the rest. Love is a babe, then might I not say so, to give full growth to that which still doth grow. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star for every wandering bark whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours or weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. Accuse me thus, that I have scanted all, wherein I should your great deserts repay, forgot upon your dearest love to call, where to all bonds do tie me day by day. That I have frequent been with unknown minds, and given to time your own dear purchased right, that I have hoisted sail to all the winds which should transport me farthest from your sight. Book both my willfulness and errors down, and on just proof surmise accumulate. Bring me within the level of your frown, but shoot not at me in your wakened hate. Since my appeal says I did strive to prove the constancy and virtue of your love. Mm -hmm.